Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've had another Nikon teaser out for the new Nikon full-frame mirrorless cameras that are coming August 23rd. The date is tick, tick, ticking closer and closer and closer. Uh, interesting, we've had some comments regarding pricing. It's almost become a pricing debate. So, um, to set the groundwork here, Nikon has basically said that they are targeting the A7 from Sony. And basically, it looks like they're exactly targeting an A7R3 and an A7 III in the sense of what we're expecting now is a 45 megapixel and a 24 megapixel full frame mirrorless from Nikon. Now, I would have also assumed that they were targeting those price points. That was kind of a given for me. Uh, Vrzalek, that's the YouTube username, writes in a comment on one of the videos. Is anybody able to pay $1,000 to $2,000 USD for ergonomics? This actually was a video I'd done on. Um, one of our viewers was saying how they were going to get an A7 III and now they're waiting for Canon Pro Mirrorless because the ergonomics is what did them in. They didn't like it. So he's saying, is anybody able to pay $1,000 to $2,000 USD for ergonomics? I am not, because I doubt that new full-frame mirrorless from Nikon and Canon will cost only $1,900 to $2,100 USD. I think that rumors told something about $3,000 to $4,000 USD, and that's the big price difference for me. I don't think that Sony ergonomics is so bad for $2,000 USD. So this is where I think... Uh, I would totally disagree, and I think maybe there's been a misunderstanding in the sense that I would expect maybe the 45 megapixel camera, let's call that the Z300 perhaps. I don't know if it's going to be the Z300 or the Z500. The higher resolution camera, similar to Sony's A7R3, Nikon's 45 megapixel full frame mirrorless they're bringing out. That may well be around the $4,000 mark, somewhere between three and four. I suspect not only are they targeting the bodies and the design and the abilities of these cameras, they're also, why come to market at a much higher price point? Unless you're very confident that you are bringing a much better product to market. R regardless though, I suspect these cameras, I expect these cameras to be in a competitive price range in comparison to the Sony's. So that's where I disagree. I don't think you're going to see them that much. They may be a, a bit of a premium as a brand new camera announced, but not too far out of the price range of the Sony cameras. And conversely, I think the 24 megapixel full frame Nikon mirrorless will also be around the A7III's price point, right around the $2,000 mark. Maybe it comes out at 22, maybe even 24 for the first little bit. But within that price strata, um, and I suspect maybe even very closely, maybe bang on. I mean, Nikon is targeting these cameras. I can't see them coming out with a huge difference in price on the cameras when that is specifically what they're aiming at in every other aspect. Stan Sid had an interesting com comment in response to uh, Vrzalek's a YouTube username, uh, and it's a little hard to pronounce. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I hope I am. Um, he said, uh, did you find a way to use a camera without a lens? Because after you add a couple of GM zooms, you will end up paying $7,000. That's how they get you. The reasons the a7 III costs 2000 are first, because it's made in China, and it's crap. <laughs> and second, that it's a marketing ploy to lure as much suckas into the system before Kanikon comes in and destroys Sony's consistently dwindling market share. The party is over for them. Cash them out. So that's an interesting feedback. Uh, I don't think the A7 III is crap. I think it's an amazing body for the price. I do agree that the lens system is where they get you. You got to buy into the higher lenses to get decent quality lenses, whereas Nikon and Canon have always given us decent value lenses at a lower price. Um, I don't know that uh, the party's going to be over for Sony once Canon and Nikon come to market with these. I think they're still going to have <laughs> be have a good chunk of the market share. I don't think they're going to lose a lot. I think they may lose some people back to the Canons and the Nikons when they see just how good these Nikons are going to be. And I suspect that Canon Pro Mirrorless is going to be very nice too. Um, I think Canon at the moment is just holding, holding back to see what's going on before they make announcements, how the Nikons are received. Um, so yeah, I, I would agree with Stan's point there. Uh, of course, you still got to buy lenses with the Nikon and the Canons. Um, but I also don't agree 
um, with the first point that they're going to be much higher priced. I think they're going to be, you see them in a very price competitive um, range compared to the A7 III and the A7 R3. Arthur Cease writes in as a comment to uh, Stan, um, the um, Tamron 2870 F28, uh, 2800 total for pro lens and camera, done. Photograph events and stick it on a gimbal, lightweight matters, and make money doing social media videos, super high demand with no one to fill it. Buy any lens you want with all the money you made. <laughs> so, interesting point, um, but that's not all else being equal. A lot of people will say this. Well, you can buy the camera and then go throw Sigma and Tamron glass on it. Yeah, but you can do that with the Nikons and the Canons too. And what we're talking about here is having OEM glass that's available at a good price point and performs well. Sony doesn't have that. Canon and Nikon do. So just to say, well, you have to step out and get something else. They, they're not offering it. Sony's not offering that. And that's the point. So i um, curious to see what you guys have to say about this. Um, do you think, as our viewer said, that these cameras are going to be priced well above the a7 III and the a7R III, the Nikons are, um, even though Nikon is targeting these cameras? Or do you agree with me that they're going to be within the respective price points, reasonably close anyways, um, and that's part of the whole point of targeting these cameras? Why would you come out with something far more expensive? It's not really competing with them. Um, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Do you think they're going to be about the same price as the A7 III and the A7R III, the Nikons? Or do you think there's going to be a big difference in price? The Nikons will be much more expensive, as our viewer was saying. Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see your take on that, to hear your feedback, to see what the general consensus is on this. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know. Looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks for all your comments, folks, and we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.